Hey guys, this is Pascal from Aristides. Uh, welcome to the Aristides factory, where uh, we are today to just show you guys some of the different things we have at assembly right now, guitars that we just finished or are about to finish. My voice is a little shot. We have, we're in flu season here, but uh, we'll try to get through it. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna pick up some different things and, uh, and show you guys what we are working on, some spectacular finishes, inlays, stuff like that. I know you guys always love that. Over here, this is a guitar we have at assembly right now. A really cool custom hollow flake, purple gold hollow flake finish with a matching pick guard, which is satinized, so it literally stands out. It's got inlays that are also hollow flake, so I'm not sure if you're able to get that on the camera. It's a gold and, uh, and purple combination. Super classy TO, and we're really excited to, uh, to get this one finished. This one just finished. This is a very special guitar. This is our Desert 10 marble finish in gloss. And this customer has Saudi roots. He asked us to design something that would be both vaporwave stylish and also have a reference to Saudi. So we created the skyline of Jeddah in beautiful style, uh, sunset, everything, some palm trees and stuff to give it some more vibe. and. Uh, yeah, really, really cool. Yeah, we're very, very excited to get this one out to our good friend Faisal. Another finish type that has become really, really popular over the last months is, or last years pretty much, is the shattered. The, the shattered finishes, we use paints like we do with our marble, kind of techniques like we do with our marble paints, just slightly different to make it a bit more chaotic, to say the least. This is a black to red shattered, and yeah, the pattern in there is just absolutely mesmerizing. I can show you guys the back as well. This is a satin painted guitar, so it's fully satin. And yeah, the pattern on this one is absolutely gorgeous. This is a really cool build. It's an 07 OS with just a single pickup, no bullshit, just the volume knob. We have people who order these without like any knobs as well, which is just, uh, yeah, pretty daring and pretty cool. So uh, definitely a beautiful finish. Here we have a guitar we've been working on for a really, really long time. This is a, a full-on custom design for our friend Joe, who went all out with a biohazard theme build. Yeah, the detailing on this one is fantastic. Of course, you can see the graphics on there. The pickups were painted with the guitar, got the whole inlay, and even a custom painted logo plate, which is amazing. It's fully finished in gloss. You don't see the back is fully open right now. I'll explain something about that <laughs> later on, but it even got like a, another biohazard logo in yellow on the back plate, and it's gonna look amazing. This guitar is equipped with both MIDI and piezo. There's a lot of stuff going on, so we have a little more work to do, and then it will be ready to go out. Absolutely amazing build. Very cool to work on, but also very time consuming. And uh, thank you for your patience, Joe. We're, we're almost there. And while we're at it, uh, talking about crazy, this is a neon yellow with a purple splatter and galactic sparkle flakes on it. The neon wasn't enough yet. The splatters on top of that and the sparkle flake just make it absolutely insane. Almost finished with this one too still working working on some of the wiring stuff after which we'll close it up and uh, get it out to Kyle who's very very excited to receive it so uh, another awesome build for sure and here we have something we did for the first time I think last year when we did a purple green chameleon with a slight sparkle flake on it people have been asking for sparkle chameleons for a long time now the thing with the chameleon paint is if you cover it completely with sparkles you're just not gonna see the chameleon effect that much anymore what we did with this we used the sparkle flake we have on our Arctic Sunset Sparkle and put it on very, very slightly. So you still have the chameleon effect in full swing, but also have the sparkle flakes going on. An absolutely awesome build. This is a gloss one with our painted satin neck, which is a standard thing we offer on our gloss finishes, just because people prefer to feel in general. It's also a nine string, which is what we call a real guitar here at Aristides. And uh, yeah, absolutely amazing build. This is something cool. This is an older model of ours, the 020. We're not building a lot of, but we still do it on request. This is an 020 in a custom snow camo finish. We don't use any dips or whatever. Everything we do is painted. So with a camo like this, it's uh, what we call painting hell. Like it's just a lot of plotting, a lot of taping and a lot of paint because every layer has to go on separately. It is super clean though. It looks absolutely amazing. Bare Knuckle worked with us. Like we designed a graphic for on the pickups as well. And Bare Knuckle worked with us to make it fit the guitar theme. Got a really cool custom inlay, something definitely that came out a little different than what we usually do, which is uh, super cool. 
This is another super cool finish. I worked on with a client who had this idea of like blue sky, sun, sunset, sunrise kind of thing. And what we did, we did a fade between our pastel orange and our light blue, put our crystallized effect over it and faded it into each other. And yeah, it looks amazing. Get the fun little octopus uh, inlay as well. But this is one of those finishes where a customer simply comes up with an ID and sends us an image to inspire. And we try to work with the customer to come up with an awesome finish. This always involves paint testing. So we never just say, okay, uh, thank you for your ID. We'll get it on a guitar. We always work with paint tests. So we do a test blade uh, where we put our initial IDs on, uh, send pictures to the client, discuss it and make sure that everyone's absolutely happy before we put it on a guitar. So uh, yeah, cool thing. What we've been doing a lot recently is sparkle fades. People come up with the craziest combinations. It all started first ones we did were light blue to Arctic sunset sparkle, which is a classic finish now. We do them a lot. And now people are just combining a lot of different colors and a lot of different sparkle flakes. This is a dark blue to teal fade with our galactic sparkle on it. Yeah, absolutely awesome. Beautiful finish. I'm not sure if the camera captures it, but it looks like a night sky with crazy, spacey, whatever fades in it. It's a, a beautiful guitar. Very, very excited to get this one finished. So this is not a spectacular finish. Well, it's beautiful. It's our black raw finish, but yeah, we're very excited about the multi-scale Evertune bridge that we've introduced at NAMM earlier. Well, a month ago, pretty much. We already did a couple, uh, as you know, we, we developed a, a multi-scale version of the Evertune. We got the green light from them to, uh, to go crazy and, and make it work for our multi-scales. We did just that. It was quite some development, but uh, we're really happy that we're able to offer this to our clients. We already did a pre order for our existing clients back in October, I believe. And we're now getting the first RAWs onto assembly. This is a black 080 SR with the multi-scale Evertune. And yeah, we're building quite a few. So I think you guys will see a lot of these popping up in, uh, in the near future. Uh, very excited. It works like a dream. Yeah, really cool feature. And we're super proud to be able to offer it. Lastly, in this little update, I have here our SB4R base prototype. As you might have heard, we recently dropped the news that we are working on our multi-scale base series, which we introduced at NAMM last month as well. Four, five, and six string. And yeah, we're beyond excited. We really took our time. People have been asking for years, but we really want to launch our seeds as a bass brand and not just be a guitar builder that also does basses. So we took our time, we did our research and we came up with the SB series. Uh, it's a multi-scale bass. Show you guys the back as well. We're going to do a ton of offerings when it comes to pickups, electronics, to make sure that people can, you know, craft their dream base using this platform. Right now, as it stands, we, we have pre-orders open, or we open pre-orders for existing clients. So we have a ton of bases we're going to build very, very soon. We made several prototypes, which are currently being tested around the world by, uh, by a lot of artist friends of ours, getting their feedback for the last little details before we, before we make the final molds. Very, very excited to uh, be able to show you guys crazy finished bases, hopefully in the near future. So, yeah, very excited. Thank you so much for watching this video. Just a simple update of some cool stuff that we're doing here at Assembly. If you have any questions or wanna do your own build, please contact us and uh, we'll try to help you out. Cheers.